Walking further up the hill, we continue to hear the ubiquitous American redstarts, but also find some new species. First up was a black and white warbler singing a complex song. In migration, we almost always just hear a fairly stereotyped one-section song with two element phrases, that squeaky wheel song. The song we are hearing now is the same quality, but in a much more complex form. Could this be a young bird practicing? Possibly, but this is late in the season, and the song seems not to vary, which indicates a fully crystallized song. In the background is another indigo bunning, singing its repeated two element phrases, a gray catbird. As we continue up the hill, some cedar waxwings fly over with their very high, simple songs based around one pitch. Over to one side is a blue-winged warbler. Scarlet Tanger singing in the distance with a yellow a very on a blue-winged warbler. Your wife thinks flying. Blue wing sounds pretty close. Scarlet Tanger is a little further back. Over the continuing red eye, we hear an American red start. As mentioned in a prior episode, one hallmark of this species is their variation from three section songs to a forceful one section song, almost always with two element phrases. Further ahead is another red start singing a song that includes a buzzier phrase. This is an unusual red start. Very short elements in the first section. Coming up to the reservoir, we hear a distant pileated woodpecker accompanied by a buzzy scarlet tanager. And of course, another red start, this one alternating as expected. There's a distant yellow warbler at the start of this sequence. It's interesting to compare these two songs, especially the pitches and speeds. The format of this American Red Start song could be confused for either Blackburnian or Cerulean, but the quality of the elements remains the same, without any complex or buzzy sounds, an important difference. And of course a key ID point versus Cerulean is the alternation of one section songs. Note that Blackburnian also has a one section song in its repertoire and can alternate, but the quality is much more complex than the clear Red Start song.
last segment, you can hear brown-headed cowbirds along with a yellow warbler. Is that a coincidence? I think probably not. Yellow warblers, if they detect a cowbird egg, will cover it over along with any of their own eggs and start laying again. That's good news for the warblers. In fact, the cowbirds move on and we're left with the yellow warbler and the beautiful clear tones of a Baltimore Oriole.